What is going on everybody? It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, I wanted to show you guys some of the stocks that I'm watching for today. And of course, we're going to talk about the marijuana stocks like you guys read in the title of today's video. We're going to discuss whether or not it's time for a pullback. Are we going to see a pullback in Cron, CGC, Aurora, some of these stocks that have been doing very well recently? We're going to talk about that in this video. And this video is going to be very, very quick, guys, just briefly going over each one of these tickers. So let's start out right now with ticker symbol CRON, Kronos Group, also known as Cron. So guys, this marijuana stock has doubled in 2019. We talked about that in a couple of previous videos. It's literally gone from around $10 all the way up to $25, literally an 150% move in the matter of 35 days. So that's absolutely ridiculous. But now we're seeing a potential sign of a strong pullback. And I'm saying this because we're seeing a break of pattern here on the 20-day, one-hour chart. We can see this 50 SMA has been a strong support for Cron over the past couple of weeks. It seems like we topped off at $25, and we finally broke that 50 SMA support, which is the first sign that we want to see for a reversal pattern to the downside in any stock ETF index future that we are trading. And another thing I want to you know mention now in this video is this cross below the 50 SMA that we're seeing with this EMA line. So for those of you guys that don't know, the EMA line is the fastest reacting moving average if you set it up that way, right? This one in particular, I believe it's a like nine days EMA or something like that. If you guys want to watch more on these indicators, I have a video dedicated to that. But in short terms, guys, this is a quicker moving average, right? And the fact that... <clears throat> This moving average is crossing below the 50 SMA here on the 20-day, one-hour chart. That is a signal that there could be some more red to come. That is a bearish flag. That is a bearish signal. So if we're judging you know, off that 20-day, one-hour, I could definitely see some more selling coming in Cron, and this could be the start of the pullback we've been waiting for. And of course, guys, you know, <clears throat> Cron does seem extremely overbought here, you know, extremely overextended. Although we did get a pullback, you know, bring that RSI level down a bit. You got to understand that some people are going to start taking profits. There's people that have been invested in Cron literally from the $5 range, from the $6 range, even from the $10 range. And they're up so much on their positions that these people are going to start taking some money off the board, deflate that stock price down a bit, and potentially get in at a better price point. And in my opinion, the price point on Cron here, you know, to keep an eye on is around $13, $14, which was the previous resistance, which is now, you know, considered a new support. Well, actually, technically, the first one could be around $15. And of course, if we break that, you know, $14, $13 could be the range. So in my opinion, a buying range for Cron is around $13 to $15. If we do end up getting that massive pullback, which I do think is possible when people start to take their Profit. So another one that's been doing very well is CGC, guys. This one in 2019 alone is up from around $26 up to around $50. This one almost doubled around 95% move here in the month of January in the year of 2019 alone. And very similar to Cron, guys, we're starting to see some pullback. We're starting to see some bearish sentiment in this, you know, stock here. And just judging off the 184 hour chart, we can see a double top formation, which is the first sign of a bear flag, right? A bearish pattern starting to form. A double top is not a good sign for a stock if it wants to continue its uptrend. This most likely means, especially if we break this 50 SMA resistance, it, you know, this means that we're pulling back and potentially heading back into the mid 40s, low 40s, and even back into the 30s in terms of CGC canopy growth company. And if we're judging here on the 20 day, one hour chart, you can see this double top even closer, right? At around $51 and 50 ish cents, $51, we can say that is where the resistance was back on the 29th of January. And we hit that spot again on the 4th of February, two days ago, and we got rejected. So that's an official double top here. Again, a bearish 
pattern. And just like this, uh, the, the chart on Cron, the EMA is crossing below the 50 SMA, and it's about to cross below this 180 SMA if we continue to sell off today, which we do see is happening right now, pre-market hours, right before you know the market does end up opening, right? But we do see some green candlesticks above the 180 SMA. So keep an eye here, guys, on the 20-day one hour. Are we going to break below there? That's going to be a big sign of a sell-off in terms of CGC. So, you know, overall, guys, these stocks are looking like they're gearing up for a pullback. And the next spot, you know, that I could see, uh, you know, uh, CGC pulling back to, which could potentially be a good buying spot, is going to be around $31, $32, which it has pulled back to in the past. We can see here, last time it pulled up, or ran up rather, to $55, the $50 range, you know, we pulled back to around $30. So this area right here could be a good buying spot for CGC. And another one that's been doing very well recently is ACB, also known as Aurora Cannabis. In 2019 alone, this stock is up around, you know, not as much as Cron and CGC, but it's up around, let's say, where did it go to? $8. So it's up around, let's say, 65%. So in terms of this one, guys, you know, it's not as, you know, it doesn't look as much uh, of a potential pullback as Cron and CGC do because it's still technically holding this uptrend that I just drew out for you guys on that candlestick or rather the uh, trend line there. But if we're judging off this 30-day chart, guys, keep an eye on this 50 SMA here. If we do end up breaking this today, which it does seem like it could potentially happen because we are trending down pre-market hours heading into the open in 25 minutes, this could be a good opportunity for a potential short or put option if we do end up breaking here. And of course, all those other supports are, you know, the ones that we saw uh, Cron and CGC break already. That could be a good sign for a put option on Cron and CGC as well. And I've been talking about playing puts on the marijuana stocks over the past couple of weeks. Obviously, I haven't pulled the trigger yet because we've seen a ton of run up in these stocks. But, you know, if we do end up seeing that confirming factor of that break of a downtrend that I talked about a couple of minutes ago in CGC and Cron. And if we see it in ACB, guys, this could be a good opportunity to get into potential put plays for these three stocks, guys. So those are the three main marijuana stocks I wanted to talk about in this video. What else am I watching today, guys? Well, today... I'm actually seeing whether or not the gold futures are going to break this 50 SMA support right here. And judging off the 20-day, one hour, this could potentially happen today. We're trading in between this horizontal channel of around 1313 to 1320, but we are holding the support here on the 180 SMA still. So guys, this can go either way here. If we break up, that's going to be a good sign for JNUG, which is the bull ETF that trades on the gold futures. But if we trade down here, that's going to be a reverse of pattern to the downside. JDST could be the better play there if we slowly start to creep back into the 1310, low 1310, maybe even the 1300 range in terms of the gold futures. And another one I want to keep an eye on today for a potential day trade is I think it was UWT, guys. And this one trades based upon crude oil. And we can see here, guys, crude oil seems like it's holding the $53 support. So if we do see the break above this 180 SMA here on this 20-day, one-hour chart, and ultimately the break above the 50 SMA, that's going to be a good sign that uh, crude oil is reversing to the upside, opening up a nice margin for UWT, guys. And we can already see UWT looks like it's climbing up right now, pre-market hours. So there is opportunity at least back up to the previous resistance of this 50 SMA here, which does give it around a 4% margin. So keep an eye on UWT today, guys, and drop a comment down below. What stocks are you watching? Are you playing puts on the marijuana stocks? Are you playing puts on any of these tech stocks, Apple, Facebook, that have been running up like crazy recently? You know, let me know down below in the comment section. And, you know, judging off the NASDAQ futures today, guys, <clears throat> You know, tech stocks 
could have another good day today. It's up around $16 at this point, up around 0.24%. The SPX and the Dow, they're all in uptrend still, guys, especially the Dow and uh, the SPX. Everything is looking solid right now, but keep an eye on these longer-term resistances today. Like I said in yesterday's video, the 180 SMA for the SPX here. I don't think the NASDAQ, oh yeah, the NASDAQ is at the 180 SMA as well, but the Dow Jones is the one that broke out of it, right? We can see that there. So, you know, keep today in mind with these indices, are they approaching the overbought status? Yes. Does this mean they're going to pull back? No, right? This does not mean that they're 100% going to pull back, but keep an eye as we continue to climb up, guys, if we continue to climb up, they're going to get more overbought, more overbought, and that's going to pull, you know, that's going to call for a pullback even sooner and harder, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Good luck today to everyone out there trading. Drop a comment, leave a like down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the video later today. Peace out.